We can't wait to see 2427 Locust Street go down today. And you know what? Pretty soon we'll hear the sounds of what it means when we have blight, this blight elimination program making good things happening in our community. You know, there is really um, competition for resources, particularly in municipal government. We don't have very large budgets, so that's why we're very, very grateful to uh, both the state of Indiana and federal government for assisting Anderson, Indiana in, in this mission. Uh, it's a quality of life issue. Uh, removing that blight uh, from neighborhoods, uh, houses that have been long neglected, walked away from, this is not an overnight issue. You know, some of these houses have sat maybe for 20 years. Well, I think the Fighting Blight program is a great investment of tax dollars, both at the federal, state, and local level. And it takes a partnership at all three levels to make it work. Um, having 130 homes that are abandoned, de de decaying neighborhoods, um, dragging property values down, creating unsafe areas for children and residents in the area, I think is having a, making that investment is one of the best things that we can do both as a community and a state. I think some dollars have been provided in years past to communities and it was simply for raising a structure not necessarily taking ownership of the property so in this case we look for community partners this particular house I believe is uh, Habitat for Humanity and so they take responsibility for the ground frees up the taxpayers for future responsibility for mowing and upkeep. I know many of you are here because you're part of this project and part of wanting to see Anderson move forward in so many good ways and giving so many possibilities to new families and seeing hope in our neighborhoods where maybe they were looking just a little less than hopeful and so we're just very excited.